Hey guys, so today we have the Hello Sanrio capsule diorama figures from Toynami. Um, there's five in the lineup. I did pick up all five because I love the classic Sanrio characters. I like the Sanex characters too, but uh, these are my favorites. Ones I grew up alongside in the 80s. Um, my first toy was a Hello Killer Kitty bath doll that changes colors whenever you submerse it and it only worked like maybe three four times before it started to lose its uh ability to change color but yeah after that i kind of fell in love with sanrio stuff and it's kind of weird being a boy whenever in the 80s and uh liking sanrio stuff but hey I was uh, never really a normal kid. So, anyway, these are uh, individual little diorama pieces of Kuropi. We have uh, Hello Kitty here. We have Choco Cat here. We have My Melody. And finally, Bats Maru. They all have um, one or two little elements with them. Kitty has a bench. Um, My Melody and Bats Maru have. Uh, in addition to the building behind them, they have the uh, little bush, and uh, they're, they're neat little setups. Um, they weren't really that cheap. They were about 12 or 13 dollars, if I remember correctly, each. So if you're like a casual Sanrio collector, I probably would not uh, say that you would want to spend that much on them. But uh, if if you really like the classic Sanrio characters, I, I personally think it's worth the money. Um, they're well made. This bottom part rotates for some reason. Um, and there's nothing really functional about them. Um, they're just cute figures. And then the little store or house or whatever that, that is in the diorama beside them, that's just plastic. Like a flat plastic piece with a sticker on it. Um, I like the fact that the, the top of each diorama is in the shape of the character's head, uh, and it's in the motif of the character's color. Um, I pretty much did want all of them. I bought my melody, I think, for the sake of completion, but I really like Kurobi and Batsmaru the best. And Katie's always a classic. As I said before, these are by Toinami, not Tsunami, Toinami, and uh, I'm hoping that they come out with another wave of these because there's, um, if you can see, there's about eight or nine characters on the front, and I was really hoping for a Pretty One or a Tuxedo Sam one, and uh, I don't really know the name of this burger character, but I also kind of want a burger uh, diorama. There's the lineup on the back, and if you can see, these are the buildings that are included in the dioramas with the characters. So, yeah, I'm hoping they plan something else a little further down the road. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I, uh, like I said, I recommend picking them up to anybody that it's kind of a surprise to see Sanrio stuff that isn't San X or um, Remint made San X stuff, which is just like Gudetama or Rilakuma these days. They occasionally have Hello Kitty stuff you'll see at like Barnes and Noble, but in general, you don't see too many classic Sanrio characters like these guys made into merch anymore, at least not stateside. So it was kind of refreshing to see them 
And I think that's another reason why I bought all of them because, I mean, I can't think of the last time I saw a Taco Cats toy or a Kurobi toy. Um, but yeah, they're a neat little collectible. So if you see them and you like Sanrio, I advise picking them up because they are uh, really nicely put together. And uh, that's about it for this time, but I will see you next time, hopefully. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you like this video. See you later.